Incredible modern bridge construction technology, which is totally insane. Bridges. These tall, magnificent megastructures connecting areas and opening newer possibilities of connection. From using segments to building the longest railway bridge to enacting the highest cable bridges in the world, hang on as you are about to dive into a journey of the most insane bridge building techniques ever. Test Engineering Feet Years of intensive hard work and workers toiling for days and nights crafting incredible structures to connect people. Sometimes it amazed everyone, while sometimes quivered by the high winds and collapsed. So, how did this human civilization really progress to achieve this? Well, it is indubitably the result of the years of laborious trial and testing. But at last, today, we have some of the most insane technologies and unique techniques to keep this venture alive. From building bridges from small segments to massive cable structures, we have tens of informed ways of constructing advanced, reliant, and enduring flyovers. So, stock up as we dive into the realm of extraordinary engineering feats. Segmental Bridge Construction The moment you look at these massive, humongous structures, it is obvious to wonder how the heck did they do it? Meet this guy, the one and only Ralph Majeski known to be the finest bridge builder of America, who single-handedly revolutionized bridge construction, as he came up with an extraordinary idea of using segmental concrete building method, which means now, instead of constructing heavy-laden structures, engineers were now able to make flyovers using small prefabricated structures. These building blocks, one by one when combined, they literally tell the tale of exceptional craftsmanship, saving tons of money and capitalizing precious time. One of the finest examples of this method is the UK's longest railway bridge. HS2 Engineers To build the longest bridge, well, we had to have a special and the biggest bridge construction machine. HS2 is the largest urban infrastructure project in Europe, stretching over 134 miles and guess what? Building a 10-mile long bridge to handle the pressure of 200 mile per hour moving train is no joke. And guess what? The only technique capable of doing it is using small prefabricated blocks to build this insane bridge, which is about to fly over crucial urban areas. This is the inside of the factory where these segments are carefully built. Each piece is carefully examined so that it is placed perfectly. But is it really safe? Yes, it is, so much so. Ultimately, these are fitted on this 10 meter high bridge. Well, building 50 meter high urban flying bridges is easy, and we know how we do that, but constructing bridges this high? Chishu Bridge, China. 230 meters high above in the sky, about 70 stories from the ground, a bridge in the middle of two mountains connecting Sukhan and Gazu is one of the most insane projects of all time. So, can segment building techniques really work at this unbelievable height? Undoubtedly, it will be too tricky to use prefabricated blocks because this altitude poses unimaginable questions, and it is impossible to stand a structure here without any external lift. So, engineers preferred another mind-blowing technique, and thick, strong, and sturdy cables are used to enact this incredible design. So, what is this technique, and how does it work? Suspension Style Bridges England's Supernatural, the magnificent Humber Bridge, Japanese Incredible Akashi, the world's longest bridge, and China's exceptional Azai, the highest bridge. All these megastructures are being constructed using suspension style methods. This is the specialty of this design of building, that it can withstand even the enormous pressures. Its main cables bear most of the tension, giving it the strength and endurance it needs to keep hanging in the mid-air and handling the huge traffic flow. 
As each line is purposely drawn to support the structure, imagine this famous golden bridge. What if it had not had these strong cables attached to it? Boom, it will collapse instantly. Golden Gate Bridge Each day, it witnesses the sun and moon going in circles, withstanding hundreds and thousands of tons of traffic flow, and about 90 years old and still standing strong and fine. Saying suspension method really is something. When it comes to supporting big structures, meet Joseph Strauss, the chief structuralist engineer. Born in an artistic family, crafted a masterpiece, still known as the Golden Gate Bridge. It is a very peculiar way of construction, where designers have to be very cautious. Let's say if they had these long pillars a little too far, it would have resulted in internal collapse. So it had to be just in the right position so that these cables could handle all the pressure. Incremental Bridge Construction Imagine building a bridge over a rushing flow of water or infrastructure around. In such scenarios, this method is proven detrimental as it makes the least disturbance to the environment. This way, engineers can easily manage disturbances. It has very simple mechanics. On one end, the workforce prepares the bridge with their best efficiency, and then it is moved forward in the direction of the concluding point and step-by-step, step, the flyover moves to completion. This process may be time-consuming, but when you have to build a connection in a rugged environment, this is indefinitely one of the best ways to go. Poland's MD7 bridge is definitely the most fitting example. Bridge MD7, Poland. An area where there is a gulf of population and infrastructure for engineers, the foremost requirement is to make even less disturbance to surroundings. That is exactly the reason why incremental building technique was used while constructing MD7 Bridge. Once the structure is set on the pillar, a highly specialized machine pulls the material forward, making its way forward. And from behind, the engineers keep on building the structure. And slowly and steadily, the bridge moves to completion. While hundreds of workers made sure that it fits in the best alignment, and then lastly, it is connected to pillars permanently. This method may be slow, but just like other techniques, it makes impossible situations doable. Arch Bridge Construction Method Undoubtedly, if using the most extraordinary engineering has a name, then it has to be the Arch Bridge Construction Method. Engineers, from using hexagonal shapes to using parabola shapes, have perfected their art by getting inspired by nature. Beehives use hexagonal structures to utilize maximum storage. See Brian Cox explaining how. Similarly, an egg is full of mysteries too. Here, this guy explains how. So, next time you see a bridge like that, you know what's behind it. Because bridges extensively use arches to endure strength and reliability. So much so that even the famous Sydney Bridge uses the same egg mechanism. Sydney Harbor Bridge This is definitely one of the most scintillating bridges of all time. Whether it's about the everyday aesthetics or the New Year Eve, you cannot forget Sydney Harbor Bridge. Once you know behind the doors engineering, oh well, you are absolutely going to fall in love with it. So. That's the 1,149 meter distance between them. So do we use an above the arch design here? No, because that would block the huge area for shipment. That is why when you look at the bridge, you see the road deck below sign. So in what cases do we construct below the archway? Renzun Express Highway. Watch this incredible Renzun Express Highway Another marvel of engineering. 1,427 meters high in the sky, engulfed in clouds, looks like a road to heaven. But this time, you can see the road deck is built above the archway. Well, in this case, it serves a very peculiar purpose. This way, it gets its formidable strength from the ground, and the strongest position for the deck would have been the upside of the deck, giving all the might to the structure. These are the clever ways engineers use shapes to their advantage, 
and make constructions that battle for longest periods of time. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by a subscriber. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows? We might even feature it in one of our videos. This picture resonates to one and only the beautiful Bixby Creek Bridge. Imagine passing through this scintillating coastline. For a moment, just stand there and witness the most beautiful sunset ever. This is a special connecting flyover as it connects the northern part of California with Southern California. And you must have noticed by now this incredible bridge is also built using the principle, a solid grounded arch and road deck set on the top of it, giving it the strength and caliber to hold on and stand there for more than a century now. One of the finest examples how nature-inspired engineering has been helping us throughout. See you next time.